So yeah, hey Dan. Hi Courtney. Thanks for being here today. Thanks really. for having me. Yeah, absolutely. It's been such a pleasure just getting to know you. You've been, we've been knowing each other like through one form or another for the last several years. Two years now, yeah. Yeah, since our Jamaica days. So it's really nice to mm. have you here as a part of our sanctuary community. Mm, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> it's 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 so good to be part of the community. Yeah, I'm I'm Dan, <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> I've been with Sanctuary since close to the beginning, I think. Um, gosh, it felt so, I mean, what what it's become now is like way beyond what it was then. And it's it's just amazing to, you know, have witnessed the the growth and be part of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what, what brought you to Sanctuary initially? Uh, I was ready to heal with mushrooms. Um, simple as that. You know, I had read Michael Pollan's book, uh, How to Change Your Mind. Um, and that, I think that's probably helped bring a lot of people to mushrooms and maybe to our community. Um, and that just kind of set off this chain, chain of events like, um, you know, I'd done uh, mushrooms and psychedelics rec recreationally in my 20s and came away from that thinking that they just weren't safe for me. Mm -hmm. And um, I thought, oh, well, if they're treating trauma so successfully <laughs> with psychedelics, then I need to look into this again. Mm -hmm. And that was the start of it. And shortly, you know, just a few months after that, I connected with Eric mm -hmm. and started on my own you know, well, I redeveloped my relationship with mm. these sacred friends and teachers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a very different experience than your recreational oh, yeah. encounters yeah. earlier on. Certainly, yeah. Um, you know, there's, uh, in, it's given me an appreciation for, you know, the recreational side of uh, the relationship, for sure. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's so much more. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Could you talk a little bit more about that? Like how that has unfolded, um, like the difference between maybe that experience that you had earlier on uh, that didn't feel so like sincere versus your experiences now with the mushroom? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And I mean, <clears throat> it was recreational, but you know, I wouldn't call it insincere. It was like, there was mm -hmm. a partying aspect to it, but like I had a trip on LSD when I was 19 that changed my life. And, you know, I absolutely feel that that was linked to what I'm doing now. Mm -hmm. Um, but, <sighs> um, Mushrooms have just been transformative for my healing. <laughs> like, uh, to look at where I was three years ago when I first started this intentional relationship to where I am now, it's, I don't know if I would have believed it all in the beginning, mm -hmm. you know, but I was at a job that I, I couldn't stand that was not good for my soul. <laughs> mm -hmm. And now I'm working at two jobs, both of which like feed my soul every day. And it's, um, um, mm. it's, it's beautiful. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that feels so good to hear. What a difference in your day to day life. Yeah. I mean, and that's just like the tip of the iceberg, like mm. all of my relationships are better. Um, you know, Paul mm -hmm. Stamets said something like, uh, mushrooms, just make people better to each other or, you know, <laughs> something like that. Uh -huh. uh, he said it <laughs> much better, but um, <laughs> my relationships are so much better. Like, I feel like I'm, <clears throat> I don't know if I'm a better person, but I'm a more present dad, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> so that feels pretty important. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> I'm more present for my emotions, which means I can be more present for her emotions. That is such a gift, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's clear to see just you know, your daughter's playing on the playground over there. And like just every time y'all have come to our community gatherings together and 
you know, there's been other yeah, families been around and just seeing you all interact, like it's beautiful mm. to see a father so present with, with his daughter and how much she clearly appreciates that. You know, y'all are very, very close and love each other very much. Thank you. Obviously. Yeah. How could you talk a little bit more about how you feel like the, the mushroom has has helped with that presence in your relationships? Um, the mantra that I've come to return to again and again is it helps me feel what I need to feel. <clears throat> And somehow, there's not a straight line, mm -hmm. but it ends up in me being less triggered emotionally by things mm -hmm. that used to. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I've had trips where like, I mean, gosh, anxiety has been a feature of my life, you know, mm -hmm. for so long, just crippling at times. And um, some of these mushroom journeys, I don't want to scare anybody off, but mm -hmm. <laughs> they can be super intense. And mm -hmm. I've experienced like just super intense anxiety. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> the more I'm present with that, the more I'm able to like sit with that and not like try to run away from it somehow. Um, the better I am at uh, situations in my life that mm -hmm. tend to bring up anxiety. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I can very much relate to that experience. I talk about that a lot when I'm I'm talking with folks who don't have a reference for the experience with the mushroom and just that that energy energy management yeah. like that mushrooms have helped with for me as well. Yeah. So much. <clears throat> so what about can you talk a little bit about your experience with the other other community members in Sanctuary? Like- Oh, sure. Your experience just interacting with the community here with Sanctuary? Yeah, um, gosh, it's been a, I wish I'd had more opportunities to be involved. It's been such a busy few mm -hmm. years, but um, I've been to several of the uh, community circles and several mm -hmm. of the men's circles. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, the Subtle Sacrament, um, last year that was wonderful mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. so um yeah just being uh part of these circles is so wonderful for processing these experiences because at every one of these circles i've had the experience of oh i, I remember that or oh i resonate with that or like i felt those exact feelings you mm -hmm. know or um so it's like it gives you um it just gives you um, a way to process it, a way to figure things out, because a lot of these journeys, like a lot of it just doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's supposed to, you know, in the moment. Yeah. But processing it later, you can really kind of come to some kind of understanding, some kind of personal understanding of, you know, what it means for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so yeah. helpful to hear <clears throat> that other people are having very similar experiences. Yes. Yeah. And of not knowing <laughs> as well. Yeah. Just like, oh, I'm not the only one that is still trying to figure things out. Yeah. In general. <laughs> right. In life. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> sadness and fear can come up, you know, intense grief, you know, um, and it really helps to have the community um, for that aspect. But I don't want to ignore the fact that I've had, you know, blissful experiences on with mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Like states of just blissful, ecstatic, calm, connectedness with, uh, you know, um, the people around me, the people I love, mm -hmm. and, you know, the natural world, you mm -hmm. know. Um, and it's nice to hear about that as well, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah. affirm that, you know, because so often, you know, the focus can be on, you know, how, what if I have a bad trip and, you know, like, um, what am I going to do? You know, it's, you know, first off, 
the bad trip is going to be okay too. <laughs> and also, you know, like you might be in a magical wonderland, you know, who knows? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. I love how you said in the beginning um, of us talking that the mushroom has helped you feel, just like feel more. Right. And sometimes I need to feel joy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's such a spectrum of experiences and feelings in this life. And yeah, having the ability to just be in the moment and feel them is a beautiful thing. Yeah. Yeah. So if there's if if there's anything you would tell someone uh, who's you know curious about joining sanctuary or just you know feeling out our community, what what's something you would tell someone who's interested in joining sanctuary? I would say that if you're at the point where you've, where you're looking at a a mushroom church, (laughs) then you might be ready for some growth or, and or healing. (laughs) And I'm, I I feel like I'm an example of that at this point, you know, that um, I have experienced so much healing and so much growth through this relationship and um, it's uh, more people need it, you know, and if you feel ready and even if you don't feel ready, even if you just feel curious, you should check it out. Mm -hmm. That's what I'd say. Nice. Well, thank you, Dan. I think that was, that was perfect. Really appreciate you doing this and showing up again. Thank you. Uh, for our community and helping others just, you know, see what we're really about. I mean, it's really what we're doing right. here. Just like, we're just normal people. <laughs> we're just normal people. Right, right. It's like you. Yeah. <laughs> having an experience <laughs> yeah. with each other. So thank yeah. you so much. Thank you, Courtney. <laughs>